Hey, what is going on guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you a relatively quick video on the 1.04 update for Daisy that just came out for Xbox and PS4. Um, I'm just going to get straight up with it and just say the link is in the description below of the full patch notes uh, for, you know, the 1.04 update. But I'm going to do a little summary over the entire, you know, thing because it, it is pretty long. But um, the 1.04 platform update of Daisy on Xbox and PlayStation is now live. This update is a combination of the 1.03 and 1.04 updates. The comprehensive new update brings you an expansion of the disease system and gives purpose to several medical items on the combat side. We've added two new assault rifles from the trusty KA family, the factory suppressed VSS, as well as an arsenal of grenades as survivors discover their ability to throw items. Furthermore, the update includes NVGs and the universal flashlight for your tactical helmet and two brand new belt models. Moreover, the infected have upgraded as well. So guys, we also got a new vehicle called the Gunter 2. The Gunter 2 is just a small first generation family hatchback with front wheel drive. Um, just like a little red vehicle, it's whatever. Um, the new weapons we got with the VSS, it's um, compatible with KA scopes and it uses 9x39mm rounds selective fire. The KA-74 Selective Fire Assault Rifle, um, it uses 545 x uh, 39 millimeter rounds. We got the KA-101, which is also Selective Fire Assault Rifle. It uses 556 and 45 millimeter rounds, or 556 x 45 millimeter rounds. Um, we got regular and armor piercing, 9 x 39 millimeter ammunition for the VSS. We got tracer variants for the 556 and 762. We got Baraka sights, backup iron sights, PSO-11 scope designed for the VSS rifle, and we got bayonets for the KA, M4, Mosin, and SK rifles. So um, they also added a new combat feature, which is melee. So on Xbox, you press X. On PlayStation, you press square, and you're, you'll just knock back the zombie, really, with like a, you know, you smack him with your gun, pretty much. But they also added... Um, that players can now throw items so you just double tap x on xbox or square on ps4 to activate the throwing stance and you basically just aim where you want to throw and throw but um new closing too there's new belt there's a new belt able to carry a knife sheath sheath i said that wrong gun holster and canteen the universal flashlight and the new night vision goggles can be attached to the tactical helmet too. We got chem lights and the handheld transceiver can now be attached to the most backpack stripes. Um, the infected have been, like, they got like a little upgrade, which I think is pretty nice. They can now spawn with headgear and other attachments. So, you know, they're actually worth really killing more for loot. But um, the medical additions that they did add to the game is fever and effects and balancing for EpiPen, coating pills, morphine, charcoal tablets, and a couple other things. And for the inventory, they did independent shoulders allow you to carry two melee weapons or firearms. But they also put a stop to server hopping now. So now what happens is when you try to go from the server you're at to another server, it's going to spawn you at the coast. So that kind of just there's no way of um looting the same spot on and on going from server to server because a lot of players were doing that but um yeah they pretty much stopped that and then there's like a long list of the entire patch notes in full detail but uh you can go through that yourselves uh with the link in the description below i hope you guys found this useful and yeah i mean this is a very good update for the game you know we it took a little bit of time to come out to you know on console but we finally have it so have fun with the game